safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. All right, the uh, chicken just got a movie deal, by the way. Uh, so now Big Brother is acting like our big mother. Monica Crowley says, oh, brother. <laughs> I guess Hi, it's nice, um, but kind of obvious. Or? Well, let's point out first that this particular ad was done on a pro bono basis, yes, so no taxpayer was. dollars were used to the make this advertiser. The chicken doesn't know that yet. The chicken doesn't no, know that. But though. apparently the chicken already has a great agent yes, and is cast right. in a Spielberg movie. Exactly. Um, look, what this points to is the fact that the government's priorities are completely off the wall. We are in a severe debt crisis in this country. We've got a 14.3 and climbing nat trillion dollar national debt. We've got a 1.65 annual deficit. And yet the government is running around making ads about not letting your veggies touch your chicken um besides the, the fact that it, it it's stated the obvious um and i'm happy it's, it, someone did this pro bono um the government increasingly with policing menus mm -hmm. and, and 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 forcing dietary changes which might be necessary for a lot of folks period not you my dear but uh Says who? It's not the government's role to do this, Neil. The other day, I was starving. I was walking down the street in New York, starving. And I, I hadn't eaten all day, and I went into a restaurant, and all the calorie counts are there, courtesy of New York City government, New York State. The feds are getting involved in plastering the calorie counts. And it was a complete buzzkill. I wanted, like, a double-decker cheeseburger. I ended up not getting it. This is the government saying, we know better than you. We know what's good for your See, health. See, I look at the 2,000 calorie count on that, <laughs> and, and I And you want said, it more? It's that little? You I want mean, it look, more. So, right? in other words, that... But that's the effect it has. Yes, right? but it's also an example of government intruding into literally every nook and cranny of your life. This is what Obamacare was all about. If the government controls your health care, they literally control every single part of it. But in this you. case, we're telling people, you know, use a different cutting board, wash, clean up. It might be obvious to some you're pretty smart, I'm borderline. Um, <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. But if it's it saves not the lives, role. is it, is it, is it good? It's not the government's role to so be you doing this, especially them. You when would we let have... people die eating <laughs> contaminated <laughs> yeah, That'll chicken. be the headline. Monica Crowley yeah, wants Monica people Crowley to die. Monica Crowley wants to kill people. It's not the government's role to tell you to separate your chicken from your vegetables, okay? The government's role is to make sure we are uh, operating in a fiscally responsible way, which clearly we are not, and to make sure that the American people are safe both internally with a police force and externally through uh, national security policies. They should not be in the the business of telling you what you can eat, where you should eat, what you should be doing in your own kitchen. And it's just part of a bigger narrative, uh, Neil, because now we've got the government saying you can no longer use an incandescent light bulb in your house starting in January. They're telling us every which way. And I think the American people have had enough of that, which is why Republicans gained traction in 2012. They're saying, you know what? Enough of the government in our lives. We want our freedom back. So quit being so nice, quit being all these stop do, trying do to goodisms. help us stop right. trying to help us government we can get along fine without you so what did you have when you went to that restaurant uh, i went down the street to another restaurant got a salad oh, boring for God's sake. totally all right. boring all right well monica crowley thank you very much always you, good Neil. seeing you you bet all right uh i'm going out on a limb here but service union guys they don't flip over tea parties apparently big problem with their small government push now imagine what a poll service union workers paid for says about tea parties and that push take a wild guess verizon claims its 4g lte is twice as fast as at&t we're putting them to the test against the speed of a rescue unit go they're downloading a music album the first network to finish gets rescued does your phone know that we're racing <laughs> Left. The fastest network in America, Verizon, built so you can rule the air. Now powering the LG Revolution. Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Do woodchucks chuck wood? <laughs> Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You have to fight to win. You do stand for that. I've been there. That's do chaos. It. Who's going to do it? You don't know what the hell you're yeah, talking about. Good. It's a when bunch of bull. You guys are crazy and I'm right. It's the toughest academic standard to meet. Only 134 medical schools nationwide have achieved it. It will be New Jersey's first in over 30 years. Introducing the newly accredited Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. Attracting the best and the brightest to South Jersey. Redefining healthcare.
and using the latest technology to educate the next generation of physicians. Excellence in healthcare, and now, excellence in medical education. Open bracket input type equals text. Max length equals 255. Size equals 20 on focus. Equals quote F. Open parent. This dot value equals. Kids today are learning a whole new language. That's because the Boys and Girls Clubs, in partnership with Microsoft and Comcast, are teaching kids computer skills in a program called Club Tech. It's just another way we're helping millions of students succeed today, tomorrow, and beyond. Are you anxious to protect your family with life insurance, but afraid you can't afford it? Well, look how much insurance many people can get through SelectQuote for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Rich, 37, a $500,000 policy for under $18 a month. Even though Dave, 43, takes meds to control his blood pressure, SelectQuote got him a $500,000 policy for under $28 a month. Ellen, 47, got a $250,000 policy for under $20 a month. All it takes is a phone call. Your personal select quote agent will answer all your questions and impartially shop the highly rated term life companies select quote represents for your best rates. Give your family the security it needs at a price you can afford. Call this number or go to selectquote.com. Select quote. We shop. You save. The Tea Party losing steam. A new poll out today for the Service Employees International Union and the daily cost hitting it is conducted by a partisan Democratic firm. The poll showing 49% of voters less likely to back candidates tied to this movement. My next guest not buying it. Jennifer Spano says, well, it just looks at what's behind the, the group pushing it. She is with the Tea Party group, the loyal opposition. We did reach out to the SEIU and have not heard back. So, Jennifer, you just say... Uh, don't believe it. Well, actually, when I went in and, and researched the poll, I say it does nothing but bode well for people like me in the Tea Party movement. I mean, first of all, it's a Democratic pollster group. It's the SEIU, a pro-union group, and the Daily Cost, a radical right-wing website, left-wing left -wing. website, sorry, left-wing website. So they're never going to say anything about favorable about people like me. But if you look at the numbers, Neil, it bodes well for people like me. Whether or not people like the Tea Party is irrelevant. The president's unfavorable ratings, even among his base, is really growing. They ought to be very worried about this poll. Um, still, a time and again, whether they're doing it by manufactured polls or just comics dismissing you guys or other news organizations, you know, calling you quaint or even worse, does it ever just grate on you? No, never. I never had a bad day in my life, and I don't intend to start now. What I see in this poll is this. Because of the smear tactics of the left, which is classic of them, people might not think well of the word Tea Party. But when you look, Neil, at what people are looking at in this poll, which is jobs, which is the growing government, which is whether or not Barack Obama has lived up to his promises, it is showing people are very displeased. Neil, I'm looking at this poll. Among 18 to 29-year-olds, it's even split now among those who view him favorably and unfavorably among people making 30 to fifty thousand dollars this was his core base in the last election he has higher unfavorable ratings even among African Americans in this poll it's up to 13 percent who disapprove of the job he's doing I don't care whether or not you like the Tea Party this is not about me or my organization this election is about him and the rest of America and I'm telling you now People aren't liking what he's doing. That's what this is about. Do you think, uh, Jennifer, that Tea Partiers will be as influential? I know you're pretty much an amorphous group now, but much bigger than your early roots. But you've been the same. But I'm, I'm just saying that do you think you'll still be a force in the next election as you were in 2010? Um, play it out for me. Yeah, I do. There's two reasons for that, Neil. First of all, we, we, we haven't gone underground, but we have gone home, and we've been running people for school boards and in local elections, and that's something I highly encourage my organization as well as those of us across the country. So you have these people already engaged, and we're engaging even more people that we didn't reach out to before on very local issues. Now we're going to turn that around and take our experience door knocking, phone banking, holding small in-home meetings. You don't need 10,000 people at a rally. You need 
need about 30 in a home every couple of weeks. So that isn't because, Jenner, you and I chatted about this before, you can't get 10,000 people or it's harder to get as many people for these rallies or, 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 or not. Well, the question is, what does the rally achieve? I'm all about defining the win and then winning. My thing is, in 2012, it's about boots on the ground to turn out the votes. So we can't just rely on the so-called super voters or the typical voters that come out during presidential elections. We have to educate all of our voters, regardless of party, and then we have to make sure we turn them out. And this is why the SEIU doesn't like it, because they just got schooled in the fine art of community organizing by a bunch of gun-clinging, Bible-toting housewives. And they're going to be schooled on it again in 2012. So when you see the unions going to the extent they are to criticize any of the Republican presidential candidates, Michelle Bachman, just the latest, um, it's going to get nasty, isn't it? Yeah, and the unions are losing power. And, and not only that, they're, they're creating a wedge in the union world. I mean, here you have the private sector unions that are dying because the public sector unions are putting private businesses out of work. So they're killing their own brothers and sisters in the movement. Meanwhile, the union, public sector union bosses are big fat cats and everybody else is dying. I think they think they can pay their way back to the White House. And they're stunned to learn that people like me who don't have money but have the ability to turn people out, can defeat them, and we will. Good seeing you again, Jennifer Stefano. Good luck coming out of your shell. I think it is working, um, so, so Thanks, be man. well. Thank you, you too. All right, sign it and save billions. Governor Chris Christie's landmark bill in New Jersey is now the law in New Jersey, and now taxpayers everywhere talk to everybody. are cheering. Governments everywhere are looking at you.